You know, subscribers give me a lot of flack about something. Victor, they say, what kind of fishing channel are you running without a single ridiculous ice fishing rods video? Okay. You know, everybody knows that you need at least one video with some inappropriate use of ice fishing rods. And I try to tell them, guys, you know, I'm not like that, you know. But they keep coming, you know, week after week, month after month, and it gets to you, okay? So, finally I gave up, and I bought a pair of these ugly stick, I don't know what they're called, dog runners, dog demons, what's the difference? I'm gonna make sure I type it in the bottom, they're all the same to me, but uh, yeah. Today I'm going to put an end once and forever to these, you know, questions, okay? I removed the plastic spinning reel and I actually put a bass fishing reel. This is Abu Rivo Winch. And this is some 8 pound 0.31, okay, whatever that is. I think that's 8 pound monofilament. You got to have mono because I don't have rod to absorb, you know, the pulls. So mono will take some of the shock absorption from the rod. And we're going to count the fish only. Usually I only count the bites. Today the challenge will be different. How many fish can we actually net? Okay, because I think with this, the control over the fish is so bad that they're going to get tangled around the anchor rope, around the engine, around the other lines. So we're only going to count fish that were netted, okay? But uh, to help the ice fishing rods, we're going to give them the corn bait and uh, both of them. And the other two rods, they will have a piece of, oh, it's melting, a piece of gummy worm, orange flavor gummy worm. Let me show you the gummy worms. They are in the cooler. Here are the gummy worms that I'm going to use. Now, this morning I already tested gummy bears from the same brand. And they lost, I mean, it was a very lopsided loss to fresh corn. But gummy worms, I can chop a smaller piece that is easier to swallow. Maybe that was the problem. I cannot think of a reason why carp is not going to eat this delicious, beautiful flavor, beautiful color piece of, of bait, okay? The only problem and concern I had was that it would dissolve before the carp can find it. But these are actually, point I made in the first video, these are more durable than corn, believe it or not. A fish can bite on it, this does not come off the hook. It's like putting rubber on your hook, okay? And it, it doesn't dissolve in water. I think this dissolves in, I don't know, whatever is stomach acid. After one hour, it did not dissolve in water. So I have very high confidence in this. I really wish my wife didn't buy the fat-free ones. Fat-free, gluten-free, low sodium. I mean, why, why even bother eating it, okay? Just eat dirt. Anyway, I don't want to go there. I don't like these healthy foods at all. But this is the challenge, okay? How many can we land? Can we net and put in the boat? This bait is not very good, but we have the good tackle. This bait is good, but we don't have the good tackle. And I will report on how viable a three-foot ice fishing rod is for 10-pound fish. All right, first cast. was not too bad, maybe 20 yards. That one dropped just 5 feet away from it, maybe 10 feet. They're right next to each other, but that's fine. Okay.
Ale... Opa, gummy worm! Aha. Mhm. Mm ok, a ešte za pár, a. či je teraz to úplne zále. Aj. Wow. Excuse me guys, I was on the pole. This is actually not a bad fish. This fish actually feels heavy. I want to take my time. I knew there is no reason either than dissolving too fast carp not to eat gummy worms. I mean, there is no reason. Okay, gummy worms take early lead. Now this is a beautiful carp. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I, okay guys, let's let him go. But Whoa, whoa, whoa. Second gummy worm fish. Tell me I'm recording. This does not feel like a carp. Some kind of hybrid again. <coughs> okay, second fish on gummy worm. Small, black and ugly. Will not show on camera. I don't like black carp. The power needs to run through because sometimes you have power peaks and if you have thin wire uh, it can affect hops. I gotta run dude. Fish. Alright. Okay, third fish on the gummy worm. Nothing on the corn. See, I knew gummy worms are fine. I can't get a bite on these guys though. I'm gonna recast them again, but... Because they're right in front of the boat. It's just too much commotion here. Otherwise, I don't know what the problem would be. This is a good looking one. Third fish on gummy worm, zero on corn. It's been a very strange day of fishing. Oh guys, this one. I mean, that's 30 yards. Okay, if, if I don't catch a fish, on this one, I just can't catch a fish on the ice fishing rods. Wow. Oh yeah! Look at this! still be here. Okay, let's try this. I still can't feel him. Oh my god, this reel is so powerful. <laughs> I mean, I'm just reeling this fish. Maybe it's a small fish. Are you serious? This is so much easier than the spinning. You gotta be kidding me. Did I just... I just reeled this fish no problem. No pumping. The rod? Okay, tell me something. Did you see something strange? Oh, got tangled though. Ouch. 
Ouch! Ouch! What's going on here? Which way are you tangled? Tell me! Uh, I didn't need this right now. I finally lost him too much messing around with the other line but you know what I have to tell you <laughs> I have never reeled the fish so easy I mean just no problem no pumping I just reeled him straight up so as far as power is concerned this rig here I felt much powerful much more powerful than the spinning rig let me see if I can catch one and net it, okay? Няма буболечки, друг път трябва да чистиш стъклата нон-стоп. Опа, мисля, че ми кълде пак на Gummy Worm. Скъса ги ниска на тия Gummy Worm. Стука ли си, бе? А, мама му гадна! God damn it, guys, that's another buffalo. Where's the... Where's the... Where's the pliers? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I am netting this guy. Okay. And I don't feel nothing. I don't know. Is, is the fish too small? I will look. I'm just reeling on this guy. No need to pump the rod. Okay, now he's pulling a little bit, but... You can just reel down on him. I mean, this is powerful stuff. Come here. Wow. Wow, I did not expect this. Come here, guy. This one's got some weight. All right, I might have to go on the other side. Yeah. Let me net him, okay? I'll see you in a second. Big car. I got the other one. <laughs> now this is this is fun. This is fun. This will be. Hello. Oh. Yep. Oh my God! God damn it! I missed it. <laughs> now, now that's the most fun I've had in a long time. Alright guys, that's all I managed for this challenge. So I got three fish on the ice fishing rods. Again, I'm gonna face somewhere dock runner, I can see from here, dock runner. And I landed only one fish. That I expected, okay, for two reasons. You can't control with no rod, you can't control the, the fish, you can't steer it left and right, you can't avoid your other lines, you can't avoid engine, anchor ropes, all of that stuff. That's one reason, no control. And the second reason is no hook set. Okay, your best hope of setting the hook is on the first strike, hold the spool with your thumb. That's because this is the most powerful the fish is gonna pull. So that's your best bet. Hold the spool so you get a hook penetration. Okay. And uh, 
yeah that's why I expected not to land many fish the casting distance is also a big challenge you can get 20 maybe even 30 feet okay I'm using my arm my arm is longer than the actual rod so three feet maybe two and a half feet my arm and two and a half feet in front of the reel not the whole rod so maybe I'm casting with five feet you can get some casting distance but um, what I was surprised by was the absolute raw power of my rig okay, that was just raw power I have never experienced you know carp fishing I mean I, I just reeled those fish in no no hustle no nothing no playing no messing around with this carp I just reeled them in so that about the ice fishing rods this rig has some potential I'm gonna try to use it for catfishing because for catfishing you drift okay so you can just drop it off the boat and drift you don't need to cast so the major disadvantage will be gone and you have the power to reel anything okay. anything as far as the gummy worms okay very interesting in the morning the gummy bears got killed by corn but in the afternoon gummy worms did pretty good did as good as I expected and I'm thinking the reason for that is the gummy worms I was able to chop them into these little cylinders that were much easier to swallow a gummy bear it's hard to tell from the camera but the gummy bear is kind of big chunk for a carp that's why I think the gummy worms did better than the gummy bears if I use gummy bears again I'm gonna chop them into smaller pieces but uh, both the gummy bears and the gummy worms amazing durability I don't know what kind of chemicals they put in that stuff that goes in my kids bellies but it will not dissolve in water I guarantee you one hour it will not dissolve in water and you should not keep your lines in the water more than an hour anyway as a matter of fact the gummy worms and bears are more durable than corn corn I have some fish here or turtles I don't know something is messing with my rods I see little bites and then the corn is gone but the gummy bears are never gone they cannot knock it down so also the gummy bears and the gummy worms have have really good potential because think about the flavor it has orange flavor it tastes sweet and it's durable I mean this is like the magic bait I just gotta make it work a little bit more efficient so both the ice fishing rig with that reel and the gummy worms and gummy bears have really strong potential so I'm gonna have more videos with both of these in the future so if you're not yet subscribed to my channel uh, you know you're out of luck I'm not accepting any more subscribers this year so you know I will uh, accept more subscribers in 2000 and I'm just kidding <laughs> yeah subscribe if you're not subscribed I mean what are you waiting for where are you gonna see you know stuff like this but yeah uh, for my uh, loyal viewers those who watch all of my videos I really appreciate it uh, thank you guys for for supporting my channel Thank you for your patronage and uh, I will see you soon, okay? Bye-bye.